हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑन द ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स आई एम डॉक्टर पवार फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर देवला टुडे वी डिस्कस द मैकेनिक्स ऑफ कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ऑल्सो द मैकेनिकल बिहेवियर ऑफ द कंपोजिट मटेरियल्स further we discuss the composites consist of reinforcement and matrix space right in the first chapter then next mechanical property of these composites depends on the volume fractions of reinforced and matrix the reinforcement materials can be fiber particles or viscous fiber weight fractions can be measured practically to compute the fiber volume fraction then the other mechanical properties can be calculated from the volume fraction matrix in a composite means the fiber and viscous in composites are held together by the bundle known as a composites then some matrix serve the several functions the important ones being first is the transfer the load and structure of the stresses within a composite structure then support the overall structure then protect the composites from incursion of external agents such as humidity chemical etc most of the matrix materials are relatively higher lighter compliant complicated viscous via the fibers and viscous however the combination of this fiber viscous and matrix can be very stiff very strong and yet very light thus the most modern composites have very high specific strength that is very high strength density ratio this makes them very useful in the aerospace applications where weight minimization is kept design consideration now turn to different mechanical properties of composite materials the mechanical properties or mechanical behavior of the materials composites materials can be assessed with the help of mechanical property of the composite under different loading conditions the composite materials have different types of mechanical properties which represent in the following steps number 1 is the strain size strength in the composite materials the strain size strength depends on the volume of the fiber reinforced material and the types of reinforced materials then the composite materials can withstand high strain size loading if the fiber reinforced materials is high strain size strength for fiber reinforced composites fiber reinforced the unidirectional strain size strength is very good the strain size strength of unidirectional continuous fiber reinforced composites can be obtained by using the given formula sigma c is equal to sigma m plus sigma sorry sigma c is equal to sigma m vm plus sigma f vf means here sigma c represent for the strain size strength of the composite materials sigma m is the mat obviously it is a matrix which represent the strain size strength of the bit matrix then sigma f represent the strain size strength of the fiber reinforced then vm represent the volume fractions of the matrix materials and vf represent the volume fractions of the reinforced the value of strain size strength depends on the structure fabrications like laminate type particle reinforced type and the deformation characteristics of the composite materials depends on the loading direction etc then elastic modulus the structures of the composite materials in the form of laminate can be obtained with the help of fiber reinforced and metal matrix materials the value of the young's modulus of complete composites materials can be get with the help of given expressions 1 divided by 
is e is equal to vm divided by em plus vf divided by em here is e pc is the elastic modulus of composite materials em is the represent elastic modulus of the matrix material and ef is the elastic modulus of the fiber reinforced for the compressive strength the compressive strength of unidirectional fiber reinforced composites where fiber responds at elastic columns under compression and failure of the composite materials would take place the bucking phenomena of reinforced materials can be obtained by using given formula sigma c is equal to pi square e divided by 16 into bracket dl bracket square d divided by l bracket square sigma c obviously compressive strength of the composite d is equal to the diameter of fiber and l is the length of fiber the bucking buckling of fiber then posted in the composite under compressive loading can be seen in the image which are given here see unbuckle fiber composites then second one is the in phase buckle fiber composites and out phase in the c a b c there are three figures first is the unbuckle second one is the in phase right and third one is the out of the phase there are shows in this uh, diagram now stiffness stiffness is also the most important property for the composite material the fiber in composite materials are made up of an elastic materials with good stiffness properties and high stiffness value the stiffness of matrix materials is less than stiffness of fibers so the composite materials have good stiffness next one is a property is a temperature resistance the resistance of a composite materials against high temperatures is also good the composite materials can be used to make equipment that is required to operate in higher temperature zone so the durability of composite materials in a high temperature environment is good next one is a corrosion resistance the composite materials have high resistance against corrosion environment where they can be readily used pure metallic or alloy cannot be durable in high corrosion environment the matrix materials which is called as base materials prevents the composites from the corrosive resistance then next one is the factor affecting properties of the composite materials the mechanical behavior of composite materials can be affected by various factors given below in the various steps crack propagation where cycling loading acts on composite materials then there would be the possibility of the possibility of fat, uh, fail, uh, fatigue failure due to this the initial and propagations of cracks occurs in the direction perpendicular to the loading axis further the cracks propagates and failure of the composite takes place then stress concentration where the defects are present in the composite materials stress concentration start taking place at the point of the defect due to this the mechanical properties of the composite material get hammered furthermore the failure of the composite material takes place next is a high temperature environment when a composite material is placed in a high temperature zone elongation in the composite fiber takes place and internal stress develop due to this the mechanical properties of the composite materials get reduced then deformation of composites materials see the figure shows deformations of the the fiber reinforced have the highest strength in the comp- comparison of to the base matrix material the matrix base materials has got the compressive strength and protects the composite materials the different types of the deformation in the composite materials under the loading can be observed in the figure the figure shows the two parts in the first part crack prop- uh, penetration 
then crank de deflection, then fiber slip. In second one is a matrix cracking. How the done? I show. Then interfacial cracks are also show in this figure whenever the deformation are done. Thank you. In this way, we are familiar with some kinds of the mechanical properties. Thank you, friend.